In this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a gear like this using Autodesk Fusion 360. As you can see, it's a combination of two different kinds of gears. So the base is a wrong gear. As you can see, the teeth are not straight. They are inclined at a small angle. And the top one, this one is herringbone gear. So it's a combination of two different kinds of gears. So this is what we're going to design today using Autodesk Fusion 360. So let's dive into Fusion 360 and learn to design a gear just like this. So now we are into Autodesk Fusion 360. So the first thing that I always recommend is save your drawing. So click on this save icon over here. Give a name to your file. Let's write gear design. And then click on this save icon to save it. Here you can see my file just got saved with the name gear design. Now the next important thing is to check the units. So just go into this browser panel over here and just expand this option that says document settings. And here you can see my new units are millimeter right now. Now if you want to change my units, I will just click on this change active units option over here. And a new window will pop up like this where you can see different type of units that you can select as per your need. I will just press cancel since I want to keep millimeter as active system of units at this moment. Now I will move my cursor into this utilities panel over here. I will just activate this panel and here you can see under this utilities panel I can see a new tool that says GF gear generator. If you cannot see this icon don't worry. Just go into this add-ins option over here and click on this Fusion 360 app store. The moment you will click on it a browser will launch where Autodesk App Store will open. Just search for GF Gear Generator. Click on the search icon and here you can see you will be able to see your app. Just download it and install into your PC and restart your Fusion 360. And then you will be able to see this option over here. So this is the tool that we are going to use to create my gear designs. Now I will create my first gear that is the warm gear. So I will expand this gear generator now i will now i will create my basic gear that is the warm gear so i will expand this option gf gear generator and here you can see there is option called warm gear drive just activate this option and then here you can see there are multiple options over here so just make sure that you had selected the same thing as per my window and only you need to change your modules so here i had taken the module as 2 and the number of teeth for the gear base gear i am taking as 30 and the bomb length here you can see it's 10 so this is basically the length of my bomb gear and warm gear height right now it is 10 so this is the thickness of my warm gear and then the pressure angle 20 and the warm drive radius is 5 so drive we are not going to use this warm gear drive but still i we have to define this option over here and the moment i will press ok and here you can see my gear just got generated and here you can see this is my warm gear drive and this is my warm gear so the moment you will press ok a new component just got created and if you expand this component you can see under the bodies there are two bodies so i don't need this body this warm gear drive so i will just select this one make a right click and will click on remove now what i will do i will create some landing space on this face so for that i will move on to the solid worker space again i will activate my create a sketch tool i will select this face as a sketch face and the moment i will click on it here you can see i am ready to now create a sketch on this face i will activate my circle tool i will select this center point as a center of the circle and i will create a circle of diameter 30 and will press enter like this there you can see i will also create one more circle that is of radius 10 here it is now i will click on the finish sketch and then i will expand this both the profiles by height of 10 millimeters and will press enter so here you can see this is what i had created now again we'll go back to this gf gear generator tool we'll expand this option and this time i will activate this simple double helical gear i will activate this option and again a window will pop up like this where i have to define some of the things Right now here you can see I will make sure that this double helical is turned on and then un under the module I will define the module as 1 because I want to create a small gear then in the number of teeth I can make 15 and then the gear height I will just define 20 or maybe 15 and in the pressure angle I will make 20 and the helix angle 30 degrees then I will press ok and the moment I will press ok a new component will be get added here you can see the new component just got added as a new gear but right now it's inside the body 
so if i will orbit it i cannot see it since it's inside the body so what i will do i will simply drag it and place it outside here you can see this is the new gear i had generated so this is a herringbone gear created using this double helical gear concept now i have to align this gear with this body so for that what i will do i will move back to my solid work space then we'll select this component we we'll click on this move tool and then i will activate this option that says point to point and then i will just orbit it little bit and on this face i will select that center face point of this face and then again i will move back orbit it little bit more and then i will select the center point of this face and here you can see now both of them just got aligned i will press ok so right now they are different component this is a different component whereas this is a different component so what i will do i will activate this option that says combine and then i will click on this capture position and then i will select the tool body and the target body to combine them and then i will make sure that the operation is join over here and then i will press ok so here you can see now we got a finished final body as a single body and if i will expand this option over here inside the component 4.1 here you can see this is the body we created as a single body so this is the gear we designed using autodesk fusion 360 using this tool called gf gear generator so this is a very amazing tool by using this tool you can design almost any kind of gears so if you have any questions or doubt regarding this gf gear generator concept just let me know comment below in the video also if you want to export this for 3d printing just select the body make a right click and you can click on the save as mess and then you can export this file as a stl file format onto your system and then you can use that stl file to 3d print this file so i will just press ok and then i will save this stl file onto my desktop so i will just specify the place where i want to save it and then i will click on save now this body just got exported as stl 3d printing file format if you have any question just comment below in the video i will try to answer them or if you want to try this tool just go into the fusion 360 app store add this add-ins into your fusion 360 and start experimenting with it thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video